if you look at the next one, I ask you to divide. Um, Brian, you gave me a correct answer. Long division, please practice that. You, you're going to see this in the final exam. And uh, you gave me a wrong remainder, Sandra. Uh, here we ask uh, x times x minus 1 would be x squared minus x uh, to find the remainder to subtract. So we change the subtraction to addition. Then we change it to addition, we change the sign to the opposite sign. And then we simply add these two rows. So you get 0. And uh, if I add this, so I get 2x minus 3. And then what times x is 2x will be plus 2. If I distribute that by, uh, with x minus 1, I get uh, 2x minus 2. If I change sign again, we need to subtract. Now we're going to change the sign to addition. Okay, And there we get our, our, our remainder. Okay. This is plus. Then, uh, so the remainder would be equal to negative 1. Negative 3 plus 2 would be negative 1. So if I want to move on with uh, this, I say, OK, what times x minus 1 give you uh, negative 1? What times x minus 1 give you negative 1? would be a fraction, where at the top of the fraction, we have to put the remainder. And the bottom of the fraction, we have to write uh, x minus 1. So when I multiply this fraction by x minus 1, x minus 1 cancels, so you get negative 1 here, so the remainder would be 0. So this whole thing would be x, x plus 2 plus minus 1 over x minus 1. So when you see a fraction, that's all it means you have a remainder here, negative 1. And somehow, uh, Sandra, you got the wrong remainder. Do you, do you see where you went wrong now? Yes, I should have uh, subtracted. And I add it instead. The uh right. Uh, so it's, you have to be very careful then with your with your sign because you can uh, get the wrong answer altogether if you uh, don't uh, be careful. Then, all right. Uh, let's.